Hello, I'm going to show you how to use a ring sling. So this ring sling uh, is made from a woven wrap, so it's really comfortable, it's very sturdy, um, and it spreads out on my shoulder because it is a, what we call a gathered shoulder. If you don't like the spreading out too much, you can get a pleated shoulder, which is stone like this, so it doesn't spread as much. What you like is very down to you. To start with, I'm going to show you how to thread it. So you don't need to do this step every time, but if you're washing your sling, or you want to do this. So take everything apart. I'm going to start again. So you're going to grab your rings and you're going to bring them on your shoulder. This stage doesn't really matter with shoulder. And then you're going to gather the fabric across. And then you're going to bring the fabric through. The rings like this. And then we're going to bring all the fabric over the top ring and then all the fabric under the second ring like this okay so nice thread it if i want i can switch shoulders whatever works for you whatever shoulder you prefer using before i start i need to open up the fabric so one thing about ring systems that we have on ring slings or the caboose or someone bohemos, the fabric gets twisted in it. It just happens. That's just the nature of it. So before you put your baby in, open up the fabric. You want to make sure it's not twisted. So you want to open like that. Okay, until it's all open, and then you're going to bring it back through the rings. So now it's untwisted. If you don't do that and I put your baby in and you can't pull, it's just because it's twisted, okay? So try to remember to do that just before you put your baby in. All right, so we're gonna loosen, because it's a bit tight now. I'm gonna lift my top ring like this, and I'm gonna leave just enough room for my baby, which is for small newborns, roughly that much. So bring your hands in play shape and then go like this. That feels nice and snug, you're good to go. All right, so. This is my top rail, top part of the sling. Middle rail is everything in the middle. Bottom rail is the one that's sitting near my belly button here. To be able to tighten the top rail, I'm going to grab the top part here through the rings and I'm going to pull the same way it comes. So that way. And then middle rail, I'm going to pull strain by strain diagonally. So you need to follow the flow of the fabric basically. Bottom rail, I'm going to pull straight down and I will tighten around my belly. Okay, so I'm going to prepare the sling now before I bring baby in. Start with your rings quite high up. Because you feel as you pull, the rings come down. This takes a little bit of getting the hang of it. I've got just enough room for my baby. What I'm going to do is tighten the bottom rail a little bit so I will secure the seat before my baby comes in. So I will run my bottom rail. If you have a... Um, stripe you want is super handy because it's the same colors and I'm gonna bring my baby in so my baby is a newborn ish <laughs> bring my baby on my shoulder quite high up like that in a burping position to pull the baby with one hand bring your hand under and let the leg go through and then here you want to bring the bum right over the pass like that okay you really want to make sure you're positioning your baby well in the ring sling because there's no leg passes and positioning is quite important. So really let the bum drop. You want it to be lower than the knees in what we call the M-shaped positioning. It helps with the positioning, also helps us to promote healthy hip development. I'm bringing the hands towards the face and I want my baby to be close enough to kiss. At this point, if my baby is too high, support baby, lift and then lower your baby down a little bit. Then we're going to spread. So I'm going to grab the top row, which is right under my armpit here. Bring it across the back and all the way to the neck. So you see I've left just enough room for my baby, so I don't need to do a lot with tightening. It's quite safe already. And then I'm going to kind of gather the top like this. You don't want the top row to be digging to the neck. It's very important. So gather. Again, same with the knees. You want the bottom row to be gathered right behind the inside of the knee. 
okay? Because otherwise it's going to be digging in. So think about when you th sit in a hammock, if you sit right over the edge and the, well, the, 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 the seam of the hammock goes into your knees, just it's going to cut your blood supply. So it's the same thing, same system with the ring sling. That's why we want to have it gathered behind the knee, no pressure and also the bum lower down the knees because that means that the waist is shifted this way and it removes the weight from behind the knees. Then we're going to tighten, so you can tighten your bottom row first. And I'm going to tighten my middle row. So you want this one to be nice and tight. So it gives my baby lots of back support. And then I'm going to tighten the top row, but not too much that will cut through. So I'm going to tighten just enough. And for very small babies, they need extra head support. So you have several options. You can use the tail, twist it like this, roll it up, and bring it under the neck. So that will give my baby a lot more support. If you find it's just too thick or pushing the head forward, or you don't like the feeling, you can just do something else, like a small burping class. Thin muslin cloths, or uh, if you use um, cloth nappies, the inserts are really handy. Or even like a big sock. So you just roll it under the neck like that. And that gives my baby lots of extra head support. Okay, so my baby's safe, good enough to kiss. You can see the airway is very important. When my baby sleeps, I need to make sure I can fit two fingers between chin and chest. Um, for small babies, we have them on the front like that for newborns. As baby gets bigger, you can go to the hip to give them a lot more visibility. Usually we wait a few weeks until they have better head control, but it depends on what your baby wants to do. When they're very small, they just have them more in the front. They sleep a lot so they can lean on you like this. Make sure your shoulder's comfortable so you don't have your top row in your neck. Spread as much as you want. You, with the gathered shoulder, you can spread and come back like that. This is more for you, so more for your support. And make sure to spread on your back as well. So you're using also your back to carry. Very easy to breastfeed in on this side, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna remove this. Hold baby. I'm gonna lift my top ring to release a bit of slack. And I'm going to breastfeed. Same with the bottle feeding. You can just lower baby and then bottle feed. Make sure you support the neck, okay, so it's not hands free. You need to support, but don't push the head, just support the neck. Make sure you can see airways at all times. And then bring hands to the breast so your baby can push away like this. You can also use it to sit your baby like this, to bottle feed, because some people prefer feeding like this. Uh, so you bring the hand, the feet, sorry, to the side like this, and bring back baby. Okay, now if you want to feed on the other side, Lots of different options, it takes a bit more working around it, but I'm going to loosen a bit more and I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to feed to this side, or what you can do, you can just switch shoulders as well and go around. And then I'm going to use this side, so I'm going to grab my bottom row and bring it across my shoulder like this. And you can still work with your rings. Loosen and then you can feed like that. It's a very quick and easy way to do it. Also, ring slings, you don't have to always have the rings here. If you don't like them, you can use a system like this as well. But that would be a different video because it takes a bit more work. And then when you're done, you can just come back. Okay, I'm going to take my baby out. I'm ready to go. That's it. So, ring slings, really great, super handy. Especially for breastfeeding, super handy for toddlers as well. When I want to go up and down every two minutes and you're like, I don't want to redo my thing, you can just have it on and then just take them. And then if they want to walk, that's fine. Put their back straight into the ring sling, tighten, and you're good to go. They do need a bit of practice, so don't despair. Make sure the baby's bum really low down like this and that your tightness is right. But keep practicing and then you'll get there. Thank you very much. Bye.